forget strategy, ladies and gents. We are basically banking on the chances of Molong using the third skill versus the second, okay? And we're gonna let him bring down uh, Rika, and then we're gonna go ahead and just crowd control the crap out of this. I, if this is the team that gets me my first win of the Siege Wars uh, tonight, then I'm gonna be... <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again with some more Summoner's War content for you guys. It's time to get it in. We have our first Siege War of the Week. Uh, we're going to go up against Vindicta. And I think that's Meow Nation, I believe, if I recall correctly. I do remember that logo here. But uh, either way, guys, before we jump into that, I do want to take a quick second just to say thank you. Uh, so much. Uh, this last week has just been uh, nothing short of amazing when it comes to uh, the feedback that I got from you guys on the Monster Balance giveaway. Now, if you guys did not get a chance to catch that, we had a video last week giving you uh, a, 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 basically a giveaway video, giving you guys an opportunity to share your feedback on the current state of the game when it comes to some of the monsters, whether they should be nerfed or whether they should be buffed. Um, you know, we wanted to get your feedback out there and uh, over the past week, we had over 500 comments uh, out there with a lot of great feedback. Some of the feedback, uh, mind you, uh, was literally some, I mean, it was just very, very detailed, very specific as far as what it could be changed and why. Not just like, oh my God, nerf ye hung, buff this unit, whatever the case may be. Like they literally went into detail on all the things that could be changed and why it could be implemented without breaking other aspects of the game. You know what I'm saying? So um, I just want to let you guys know that your voice was definitely heard. I've had, uh, I basically have a week every single, uh, sorry, I have a week every single week. I have a meeting with Comptos every single week and between the last two weeks of all the things that we generally talk about, we actually push those aside um, to focus on essentially everything that has been talked about. It's taken us that long to compile on the information and provide it for you. And again, um, you know, am I am I here to say that everything that we just talked about is going to get uh, you know implemented? No, of course I can't say that. But what I will say is that we spent so much time going over all your comments, and I do mean every single one of your comments, to really give our honest uh, you know uh, talk about it, uh, to send it over to the HQ and basically say, hey, you know what? This is something that can definitely they do. We got a we got a new kind of uh, you know idea that's kind of set in place. And even if it's not something that's like, oh my god, take that idea and go with it. Like, you know, think about it, think about what they're providing here and what can you do to make it work without, again, like creating a, a catastrophe of, you know, problems when it comes to other aspects of the game. That's what it comes down to, providing something that uh, gets you a little bit of balance and then, of course, uh, figuring out a way to get some of these other units that we haven't uh, touched for upwards of, uh, you know, six to 12 months here, even more. Um, they've just been sitting there, you know, uh, Dusting, dusting, you know, with the cobwebs, right? We got the dust on the cobwebs. I can't even think of the phrase right now, but you guys all know what I'm saying. Gosh darn it, don't make fun of me right now. I'm kind of making fun of myself, right? But either way, um, it's just, it's just simply, uh, it's just been amazing to sit back and like really uh, listen to your guys' feedback. And before I make this 20 minute video on this topic, before we get into the Siege Wars, I just, I just want to say thank you guys um, for the kind words that you shared and your constructive criticism uh, going this far, okay? So either way, Let's go ahead and get into the match. It looks like they just took out a tower that we were probably looking at. So we got a couple of options here. We're basically going to try to take as many uh, matches that we can out between these two towers and then see where we kind of go from there. Um, it looks like we are a little bit behind. Well, we're, we're, we're definitely a little behind here. Um, we got some work to do. So either one we go for, I mean, it really doesn't matter here. So I'm going to go, I think I want to start out with the um, with the uh, natural, just the regular ones here where we can use the nat fives because I feel like um, I get in certain situations where I see certain Nat 4 teams and I'm like, you know what? I definitely could go for that, but I think I might, it might force me to use the, like something that I might, like I like a Nat 4 that I might have in another team that I incorporate Nat 5. So um, I definitely don't want to uh, get myself in that situation. Speaking of situations, uh, this is, this is going to be one of those where we're going to have a little bit of an issue here, unless we magically get some Violent Procs, um, Honestly, <laughs> things are not looking too good right now. We're losing our healer way too quickly. We're going to be able to take away that Perna, but no, no, we're not going to be able to take away. We really needed that defense break. I don't think I can um, I can take him out with the Brandy, so let's try to see if we can throw the heal. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'll tell you what. Uh, don't really know what I want to do right now. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and try to stun it. We got the stun, but it really doesn't matter because <laughs> Violent Frogs are coming all over the woodwork here. I think we're going to have to... 
uh, stop right there because honestly, there's nothing we can really do with uh, without our healer here. So, uh, rest in peace, rest in peace in that run. We're gonna have to figure out what we can do to get that one back. All right, here we go. We got the second round coming into play now. Uh, we're rocking our Amarna, Tassarian, and Camilla. Um, this is gonna be interesting here. I'm hoping to see if I could sneak in an Oblivion, um, but it looks like that Perna might go after my Tassarian. I don't really know here, so let's go ahead and get the branding in and see what we can do. Wow, well, Violent Parks are coming in, but uh, not really what we're looking for, right? We may lose our Tassarian just a little too early. Wow, this, this Perna is a little slower than expected. Obviously, we need to sit back and just, I guess, try to take a hit here. Now, this is not a critical damage uh, to Sarion. This is just a, a tank to Sarion here. Um, so that's unfortunate, but we might be able to uh, do some good damage here with this branding. Ooh, ooh. Close, but not enough. That's okay, though, because we got, like I said, our uh, Tassarian's built like a little bit more of a hybrid, so um, we'll get a little bit more value out of that uh, out of that uh, skill here. Let me see. Let me see. Do we kill him? Do we go for the Do we go for the uh, Oblivion on the uh, Perna, or do we just fo like focus on this one here? This is interesting because I feel like we're gonna lose Tassarian all day. Um, but uh, I'm, let me see if we can sneak in that extra defense break. No, we can't fail. Ooh, Oblivion one time. There it is. There it is. Okay, okay. Well, that's that's good to an extent, but not not technically, right? Can we get it? Get the crit? Get the crit? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hold on a second. Wait, wait a minute. Kill it. What? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to save the branding right now because I just don't, I don't feel like it's needed, right? Okay, so we got a couple of violent procs. We should be able to get our Tassarian back. Um, but obviously with that Molon coming in, this this may this may be a little bit of a pain. Okay. Come on now. We gotta do some more damage on here. Oh my god, the stuns are real. I should have gone for that Tassarian heal. Or sorry, the Tassarian resistance lead. Oh my goodness. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. This is is this really happening right now? I I don't I don't get what's happening. Is this really happening right now? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see how many times we can go up against this Molong team, okay? Boom. I think this is round three. I lost track of how many times we fought this one, uh, but I will gladly uh, try my very best. Now, this is going to be... This team is not really going to make sense, but believe it or not, um, when when Perna, the <laughs> when Perna does not go crazy with the Violent Prox, it actually works pretty well here with Molong forcing, uh, you know, forcing the attack on... on uh, on Mulan, or sorry, on Rakan, we generally can uh, and generate ourselves some uh, you know crazy counterattacks, and then uh, just keep him you know keep him locked down. Now, this is the funny thing about it. Um, even though I want to go up against Molon, I feel like Ethna's going to be able to get the jump on that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave leave him alone for right now, and uh, let Ethna take out the Molon. Uh, I know that I know that this one uh, the Eladria is probably going to get the heal, but since we got the jump there with uh, with Beta, we can probably take him out. And force to revive in order to keep uh yeah keep the lateral sitting okay okay i think i think we got this now i think we got this we need that second skill though we need that second skill to get ourselves a, a definite defense break if we can uh, i want that defense break on the perna yes oh shoot that's not good that is not good don't you dare violet proc oh my god this is unbelievable unbelievable where is our counterattacks here where is our counterattacks and now our skill is up right our skill is up. Wait a second. Is this the one time where we should do it? Like, should we put the, the revive in and hope for the violent proc? Do we go for it? I mean, taking a look at Rakan, Rakan is not going to get, he's not going to get a, a, a turn here uh, before that Perna. The Perna is definitely going to go ahead and do it. So maybe we get Rakan a little bit more HP um, and then just, just try to tank it out here. That might be enough to take it out. I think it is. Okay, okay. So might have been a good spot there. Might have been a good spot. Um, honestly, my units are, are, are sitting at a good, well, shoot, right? <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess we do it. We probably should have waited there, but, uh, um, that being said, let's go ahead and since Perna's down and he's going to be focusing down on this one here, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go and work this Eladio down. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. We need that heal. Now we need that heal. I think we can get it though. I think we can get it. We can finally come back from this one. The third skill should be up on Ethna. Oh my God. Rip the dream. He's going to revive Perna. Oh my goodness gracious. I'll tell you what. So we, we need, we, did that just happen? Oh my God. I tell me somebody I need to, need to put on the, in the YouTube comments. Did we just get like triple stun two or three times? Like what's going on here? 
Where's my collapses, bro? Where Where is it? Okay. The struggle is real right now. I, I guess I want to save the first skill. Like, I, I feel like we have to save it. Sa sa or save the third skill. Kill him. Kill him real quick. Okay. We can bring we can bring it back with a revive, but oh my god, that's too much work. That is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so here's the deal. We're 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 just we're just going for one win. Okay, now we're just gonna find somebody and go for one win. Forget strategy, ladies and gents. We are basically banking on the chances of Molong using the third skill versus the second. Okay, and we're gonna let him bring down uh, Rika, and then we're gonna go ahead and just crowd control the crap out of this. I, I don't even <laughs> I don't even know right now. It's not even I'm not even kidding you right now. The, the smile that we got going on here, it's really hard to do it because everybody understands what happens when it comes to Molong fights. Molong could definitely set you back, but we might we might be able to get lucky right now. We might be able to get lucky with the strip. Oh shoot! You know what, dude? I'm not even. I'm not even gonna try to let this unit cut in between because that's that's how bad things are right now. Oh wait, look at that. He didn't cut in between, but we still didn't even get the uh still didn't even get the strip. Okay. So again, we gotta pray to the RNG guys that we do not get we do not get violent proc and stunned to death here. But I, if this is the team that gets me my first win of the Siege Wars uh tonight, then I'm gonna be I'm just What's going on? What is going on? Oh my gosh. Come on already. Come on already. I get I'm trying I'm I'm trying to keep myself composed right now because you gotta be like you gotta be kidding me. Mo long defenses just they just annihilate me. And mind you, I'm not even gonna kid myself right now. Some of the compositions that you saw, you're like, what is he doing? But again, like these are compositions that have uh, have like work for me. Okay, they work for me. It's so crazy. So, um, wow. Okay, so is that was that enough? W wait a second. Is that? Hold on. Did we kill that burn? Oh, there, there, guy. Like, is this is this something right now? He can't he can't do his skill right. He can't do it. Stop it already with that with that nastiness. Come on. Get it. Oh my god. Keep rocking. Yeah. Where's my? Oh my god. The the struggle is real right now. I don't even care about DPS. Just crowd control this fool. Oh, dear. Come on. Oh, you know what? I screwed up. I should have done my snowstorm. Okay. I, I got a funny feeling that we got him now because he can't do his... He can't do his reckless assault. We might as well just run it. If he somehow manages to turn things around, I'm just, I'm just going to quit. <laughs> I'm just going to quit. There's nothing really else to say about it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. Well, uh, did we get it? I think we got it. 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 Keep going. Okay. Okay. Two years later. Congratulations. We finally got the win. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, we have a couple of Siege War matches to do. But as you already saw, I used uh, probably uh, about 30% of my decent units out there for Siege War. So consider we're going after these Molong uh, compositions. And I lost a lot of my units. I'm going to try to do one more match. But I'm going to go... Uh, in the natural four star category because obviously I need to stay the heck away from these Molong types, right? Let's go ahead and hop in here to this stage uh, to this uh, red eight here uh, Let's see what they got going on um, I'm hoping that we can somehow manage to get this. Ooh, you know what this one this one seems kind of fun um, This one seems kind of fun. I, I like I like where this guy's going with it I feel like if there was one team that could truly outspeed what I'm trying to bring uh, this would be the bump. We're gonna we're gonna put it to the test, though. We're gonna put it to the test. I'm going to definitely try to go try to go ham, going old school here with my Chloe, and we're gonna see if we can bring in Julie and take this out. This is this is we're just we're just going for that RNG. Like who's 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 unit's gonna be fast enough? And with the 30 30 percent lead, there's a pretty good chance that this is fast. But I'm hoping that yes, I'm hoping that it was on a violent set because I'm on a swift set, so I'm trying to get that first turn. Now there's literally nothing this guy can do in order to take it out. So now we can definitely uh, do some work here. Multi hits is what we're about. Boom! Oh my goodness! I tell you, it feels so good. It feels so good. <laughs> so so good again. I win. Oh my goodness! I'm feeling this last team right now. I feel like even though 
They got a lot of harmful effects, a lot of way to get some damage in. I, I feel like we can we can best this with our with our bulldozer comp. This is gonna be a fun team to do. Now, um, I know they have that revive right there from Marta, so that might be the one to go uh, go for. But uh, I don't know. With, with all of our attack bar manipulation, um, I feel like we could do pretty good here. I don't know. It'll be interesting because again, if they if they can if they can lock down some units, um, then we might be in trouble. But as long as as long as this Ludo doesn't do Ludo things, there we go. Uh, ooh, let me make sure. Yeah, let me make sure we get this research right here. And we'll go ahead and do this. Now, again, I, I feel like I need to go for the Amarna because the Ravana is just going to continuously revive, right? So we might as well take it out. And then let Ludo do Ludo things. Even though we can have that damage reduction, um, it should be okay. Now, I definitely want to try to stun this guy if I can. Don't think it's going to happen. But I'll take a Violent Brock. That's the good thing about this setup is that they can attack Olivia all day long and it's not even going to be an issue. Um, again, I'm going to put the Glanton on him because I'm trying to stun this guy right here. Um, the Glanton is really going to set him back. And so I'm definitely down with that. Okay, let's see. Let's let's reduce attack bars here. Can we get a Violent Park one time? Bulldozer is up. Thank you. I don't know how much that damage reduction is going to do, but hey. It is, it is definitely good enough. All right, all right. So I think we can go ahead and auto it right now and uh, finish off the video. Now, I do want to say this. This is something that I didn't mention, and uh, I know that some people are going to be surprised for me to say this, but uh, I just want you guys to know that I am well aware of both uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay? While we got a lot of things uh, changing over the past few weeks uh, when it comes to all the current uh, updates and the new events and all like that i am definitely excited for it because obviously it's 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 a nice uh, thing in a positive direction but again um i still uh, understand where everybody's coming from when it comes to all this account security and whatnot um even though we talked about a lot of monster balance and stuff i definitely spent the time um to make sure that they were uh, you know extremely aware of my just kind of you could say basically frustrations as we're currently at in the game um you know right now uh we have a lot of you know, exciting things happening here, but we still have a couple of people that are constantly getting issues with the cards of the cow security. So uh, I just want you guys to know that while I played the neutral game when it comes to uh, a lot of things that I've put on my channel, and I'm, I'm going to be the first one to admit that, that uh, the community comes first. They always have come first. And uh, I, I don't want you guys to uh, uh, ever feel that I'm never, uh, you know, making sure they're well aware of all the issues that are going on play now. Whether they decide to handle it now or handle it later, you know, it, it is what it is. But um, I just want you to know that for the people that are struggling out there um, with the accounts and all that stuff, I, I hear you, I feel you, and uh, I'm going to constantly keep on talking to them until it gets, uh, you know, fixed out. Because even though they've been changing a couple things, we're still having issues to this day. Um, so everybody out there that has been ever so patient, waiting on their account, waiting on Comptos to get back to you, um, keep on doing your thing, and I hope that we can get this uh, rectified sooner than later, okay? That's going to be it, guys. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me on this big, epic fail of a siege session. Again, uh, I wouldn't be myself if I didn't show you all the good, all the bad, all the fails that we're going on when it comes to go or you know siege wars. But uh, it is what it is. Hopefully, you can uh, learn from my mistakes. Basically, just simply get good, right? Don't do what I do. Don't do stupid teams that I do and just have some fun with it, right? But either way. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childish, Childish Plays. Check it out. Take care, and we will see you all in the next one. I'm out.